plough the fields to get a good tilth, a good seed bed for the next crop coming in and burying all the weeds and trash that's grown after the crop has came off. That's why we plough the fields. Today is just a competition to beat your competitors. You try to do the best you can. That's what we're aiming for today. But normally at the local matches, we're up at five o'clock in the morning feeding the horses and then we get them ready for the show and then go out and get in the lorry and away to the match. Once we get there, you have all the horses to get off and then get all their harness and everything on, give them a wee groom and get the harness on and tidy it up and the plough out, plough on. Once we get to the start, that's when the hardest bit is getting everything set off to get it started to get the furrows to match and there's very, very slight adjustment, sometimes a quarter of an inch, that's all you need to adjust on either side or whatever or out or in to get it to work right, to get it to run through. And if it's going to start fraction out, it's making hard work for the horse and hard work for the horseman. And then you just keep working away, just as I say, a quarter of an inch at a time maybe, until you get it set through and, it, and it, the way it goes. You could go from one end of a field to another and the plough could be going fine and then all of a sudden they come into a harder bit of ground or a softer bit and the plough has a mind of its own so you have to really fight it again, work it, maybe adjust it again. But you want to see a nice level job, a nice level furrow so no weeds or trash showing and as dead straight as you possibly can and at the start you want a nice outs and ins so you're starting all in the same line and then the plough is nice and level all the way through and when you come to cultivate and sow it it's easier and you've no extra work to do. So it's mostly getting rid of the weeds and then get them buried and so they didn't come back. The Clydesdale's nature is really, really very good. They're second to none, actually. The Clydesdale, you could really rely on them. Children and everything wander about with them and they're really willing to help and work. And like I so said, when I'm ploughing and things, they're, they're away at the front and you just tell me, stop, just stop, walk on, boys, and away they go. No problem, they're listening, they're really keen to oblige you. They're very easy trained too. They're really gentle giants, as they would say. It's a great teamwork. The horse really respects the farmer or the worker, so it's a really good bond how they go. But in the olden days, like Sir Rabbi Burns Day, they would be ploughing an acre a day, and the horses and the man would walk 11 miles a day to plough an acre of land, and that was six days a week. The tractors took over from the horses. A lot of the horses went away to the Second World War and never came back. And the old grey Fergie, as they call it, they took over and that was really the, the end of the horses. You were ploughing roughly an acre a day with a horse, whereas you'd be maybe ploughing four or five with, with a tractor. And one man going and that was it. So that was the end of that horsepower. To me, it's really important because there's a dying trade. As you see, like see here today, there's only three of us. There's no very many left, so we're trying to promote it as much as possible. The old-fashioned working days and whatever, I'd like to see a lot more of them. By good luck, my son, he's interested in it, and hopefully I'll be able to retire now, and he'll take it over, and that's another generation coming forward to keep it going. On a good sunny day in the winter time, it's really nice working away with your horses and nice and quiet, birds singing. You get a lot of satisfaction out of just watching the horses and working with them, Ken. Okay? They're enjoying it as well as I'm doing it. You get a bond with them and I really enjoy it. So it's, it's good fun.